Here, let us discuss the steps involved in the water cycle. The continuous journey of water in nature from earth to clouds and back to the earth is called water cycle. The water cycle mainly consists of the following processes. Step 1. As the sun heats up the water in rivers, ponds, oceans and lakes, it turns water into vapor and enters into the air by the process of evaporation. Step 2. At sufficient heights in the sky, the water vapor in the air cools down and condenses to form clouds. Step 3. When too much water vapor condenses, the clouds become heavy and begin to fall as rain, hail or snow. Step 4. The water that falls on the earth goes into lakes, oceans, rivers and seeps into the ground and becomes groundwater. The circulation of water into water vapor by evaporation Water vapor to clouds and clouds to rain by condensation takes place continuously in nature. Nowadays, atmospheric conditions like deforestation and pollution from factories are not favorable for clouds to get cooled and therefore cause global warming. As a result, there is a decrease in rainfall, disruption of the water cycle, and either floods or droughts are caused.